Welcome everyone to the Singular DTV Lite Wallet. This is your Ether and Singles Token Wallet that you can access from the SingularDTV.com website or other compatible Lite Wallet interfaces. If you're interested in creating your Singular DTV Lite Wallet now and loading it with Ether to buy Singles Tokens when we launch, you can visit www.singularDTV.com backslash Lite Wallet. From here, you'll be able to generate and log in and out of your wallet. Just a little disclaimer here, ladies and gentlemen, before we go any further, you need to write down and or store three very important pieces of information for your singular DTV light wallet. These three things are one, your wallet seed, two, your password, and three, your wallet file. As with any cryptocurrency light wallet, if you forget or lose these pieces of information, there's nothing Singular DTV or anyone can do about it. It would be like losing your wallet in the real world. So please, we recommend that only those experienced and sophisticated in dealing with cryptocurrency continue with this process. Let's begin. Press the Generate button and move your mouse along the entropy line to generate your wallet's seed. As you can see, in the red box are 12 words. These 12 words are your wallet's seed, perhaps the most important piece of information you need to save for your wallet. What is a seed? A seed is a combination of 12 words and no two wallets will ever have the same combination. By inputting these 12 words into Singular DTV's wallet interface or any compatible interface, your wallet will be regenerated. To be clear, this may be the most important piece of info for your wallet. If you lose your password or wallet file, this seed will regenerate your wallet so you can input a new password and retrieve your wallet file. It's safest to write down your wallet seed multiple times and store in secure locations. Ideally, this seed should not be in digital form or stored in an email or on the cloud. Anyone that has access to your wallet seed has access to your wallet's assets. After you've written down and saved your wallet seed, enter in your wallet's password. Write down and save this password. You'll need it in order to send Ether and singles from your wallet. Press the Create Wallet button, and now it's time to save your wallet's third and final important piece of information, your wallet file. What is a wallet file? Essentially, the wallet file are your private keys. It's this file that accesses the blockchain and records your transactions and keeps your balance. This is an extremely important piece of information you want to keep private. If you ever log out of your Singular DTV wallet or log in from a new browser or computer, you'll need this file to access your wallet by pressing Restore. More on that later, though. It's very important you back up your wallet file. You can do this in two different ways, either by downloading it by pressing the download button or by emailing it to yourself by pressing the send to email button. Only after you've backed up your wallet file can you press continue. And here we have your newly generated fully functional ether and singles wallet. You can see your public address here. It can send, receive and store both ether and singles tokens. The first red button to the right is to copy your address to the clipboard. We always recommend using this button to copy your address when sending ETH or singles to your wallet from another wallet or when giving your address to another person. Always double check that your address is correct before sending any ETH or singles into your singular DTV wallet. The second button to the right is for your transaction history. As you can see, there are no transactions yet for this wallet. You can also click here to visit Etherscan and see your wallet's activity on the blockchain. You can see the ETH balance here, and once we've launched, the singles token balance will be right next to it. Now let's see how to receive and send. When pressing receive, again, make sure you copy your address to the clipboard. You need your full address to receive Ether into your account. 
If you want to use Bitcoin or another coin to load your wallet with Ether to buy singles tokens, you can press the shapeshift button. You can already see your Ether singles address here. Just choose the coin that you're converting from, the amount of Ether you want to receive, a return address and email are optional. To send ETH or singles elsewhere, simply press the Send button. Enter the amount of ETH or singles and the address you're sending to, press Send, and enter your password. You can see here that once the singles token launches, this tab will become active. Now we'll see how to log in and restore your wallet if you log out or access your wallet from another browser or computer. This is where you'll use the Restore button. You can see two options here, Restore from Seed or Upload Wallet File. Restore from Seed, you enter your 12-word Wallet Seed and press Continue. Remember, this option allows you to create a brand new password. Restoring from your Seed is only recommended if you lose your wallet file or you want to change your password. After you enter your new password, click Create Wallet. You'll then be asked to back up your wallet file. Press Continue to access your same wallet with the same ETH and singles address. Now let's log out and restore or log in to your wallet using your wallet file. This is the recommended way to access your Singular DTV wallet on another browser or computer. Remember, keep your wallet file private and secure. Do not store it on a public computer. Upload your wallet file Locate it, open it, and there you are, your wallet's Ether and singles address. And that's the Singular DTV Lite Wallet. As soon as we launch our token sale, you'll be able to buy singles tokens directly from your wallet. Thank you for joining us, and we hope this video answers any questions you might have.